This video will show you how to prepare a bacterial smear. First, you're going to want to put some distilled water in a petri plate so you can easily use it for this in the gram staining procedure. Using your dropper, place a small drop of water on your slide. It needs to be small because you want it to dry in a normal amount of time, so that size is, is plenty. Next, you're going to aseptically transfer some of the bacterial culture from your slant onto the water drop. We're going to be using E. coli for this demonstration. Just add the loop straight to the water droplet and begin to spread out. You want to spread your bacterial smear to make it even. If you make it too thick, the gram staining procedure won't work very well. So you want to make sure that you spread it out and then you need to allow it to air dry. This can take anywhere from 5 to 10 minutes. If you use too much water, it can take a while. So what we've done here is we already have a, sli a slant that, I mean a slide, excuse me, that we have let air dry and this is what it'll look like. It's going to appear cloudy. You want to see that you've got some bacteria in the mix. So once it's air dry, you're going to use a clothespin to pass a slide through the flame two or three times. This is going to heat fix the bacteria to the slide. So simply pass it two or three times and that's sufficient. And then you need to allow the slide to cool before proceeding to the gram staining procedures. Do not pass the slide through the flame while it's still wet. If you add too much heat, this can cause the bacteria to aerosolize. So make sure that you let it air dry for a sufficient amount of time before heat fixing. Next, see video two on how to do the gram stain.